liked it. <clears throat> Let's give our nervous system just some, some love and support tonight, right? The reserve energy. Moving enough for that blood flow, but not moving so much that we feel tired and <clears throat> depleted afterward. Bringing this balance into our day that this practice can be that symbol of that yin and that yang, that movement, that rest. Let's imagine what it would feel like to feel rested, to feel full. Maybe even thinking back to a day when we had a good night's rest the night before and we just felt strong physically. We felt like we had a clear mind. Let's sit in that. And that doesn't mean that we're not present. That just means we're reminding ourselves what that feels like. And allowing ourselves to tap into that vibration, that energy. We're in a room full of people that are giving and giving. So let's give to ourselves this evening. Let's come sit together. As explorers of consciousness, inviting ourselves to be open to our practice this evening. Now let's just visualize a couple rounds of alternate nostril breathing. We inhaling on the left side for one, two, three, four. Visualize out the right for four, three, two, one. Visualize in the right for one, two, three, four. See it exit out the left. For four, three, two, one. Draw in on the left for one, two, three, four. Out the right for four, three, two, one. In the right, one, two, three. And then out the left for four, three, two, one. And come back to your natural breath, just visualizing the breath up and down the spine. <clears throat> Feeling the nurturance of the breath. Feeling those messages that move along the spine, feel them less rushed, less harried, more calm as we come into stillness. Now, if you're lying down, come to a seated position. And let's keep our eyes closed, just holding the space. Let's bring our arms out in front of us, wrists in line with shoulders, and then bring that right elbow on top of the left elbow crease and find our eagle arms, but we're seated. Maybe the palms touch or maybe the backs of the hands touch together. But let this be <clears throat> a reminder 
of the left and right sides of the body coming together, those energies working together to create balance. See the breath move up the spine and down the spine and up and down. Integrating all of our parts. You now release those ego arms, let the arms come out in front again. And find them again, the right arm underneath, left arm in that crease, eagle arms. Maybe tilt the chin in humble surrender that we're here on our mats. We walked here on our own. We're breathing on our own. May we feel the limitlessness of our existence as we tap into the divine, as we expand that Christ-like consciousness within us. Now, when you're ready, unwrap the arms and rest the hands in the lap. <coughs> Bringing your gaze to that third eye point. <coughs> Now maybe drawing that gaze behind that third eye, just to the middle of that brain and feeling your circadian rhythm, that control center, that pineal pituitary glands, just feel it settling. Open your eyes. Those hands on the knees, maybe lean the heart forward and let's <clears throat> orbit that heart. Just around that base of the spine, going forward and across and back. Maybe you just go in front, making half circles to begin. Maybe you just lean back and make half circles behind you. Just move intuitively and see, you know, what feels right, what's going to nourish and renew, not leave you feeling depleted. It's the name of the game today. Let's move for one more breath. In and out. And now stacking those shoulders <clears throat> over the hips. Let's pause for a breath. And maybe we'll lean forward. Come into our malasana. Turn the toes out. We've been moving all day, so hopefully this is accessible. If Malasana is normally in your practice, hopefully it's accessible now. If it's not in your practice, come into a forward fold, but turn the feet out, opening up the backs of the legs and the back. And you Malasana. Let's extend the left hand down, bring the right arm up to sky, follow the gaze up. Or maybe gaze down if you want to ground a little. And then exhale, bring hands to prayer in front of the heart. Nice job. And then we'll inhale, bring the right hand down, left arm up to sky, follow the gaze, that thumb up or down. And now exhale, bring hands together, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands forward, lift the sits bones up, bring the feet nice and wide. And with those toes, it may be pointed out or pointed forward, bring the left hand under the heart. It can either hover or it can find the ground here, block, and bring that right arm up to sky. And once you get it up to the sky, pause and bring the hand to the back, to the base of the spine, maybe leaning forward. Maybe the heels are gonna come off the ground and then rock it back to the heels, bring the arm up to sky, bring the hand underneath the heart. When that hand gets there, lift the left hand to sky, bending knees if we need to. Gonna rock forward under the balls of the feet. And then find those heels grounded. Bring the left hand down. Bend the knees, rise up to stand, bringing hands up above the head. <clears throat> then pivot the toes out. And then let's drop down into our goddess squat. 
Maybe your toes point forward, maybe they point out. And inhale, bring the arms out like a T. Yeah, and then exhale, bring that right hand under, kind of under heart center, the left arm up to sky. Breathe in. Exhale, come all the way through center and then bring that left hand down, right arm up. Breathe in. And out. And now exhale, arms come out like a T. Stay in that squat and you make those goal post arms. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale, bring that right elbow to the top of that right thigh. And then exhale over left elbow to the top of that left thigh. Nice, come up to center. Bring arms out like a T. Straighten those legs, pivot the feet towards the long edge. Then exhale, hands come to the hip. We'll pivot our feet towards the short edge. Bend that front knee, and then maybe you bend that back knee just a little bit. Find the ball of the foot grounded, and then inhale to lift those arms to the sky. You can bring that foot down. Maybe it's at an angle, or you can stand the ball of the foot for crescent. Let's interlace the hands behind the back, pulling those <clears throat> hands down and back towards the heel. See if we can open our heart up to the sky. Breathe in. Now exhale, let's hinge forward, hover the heart over the thigh. Maybe the elbow comes in the inside of that knee. Your expression of humble warrior. And exhale, draw those hands up. And maybe those hands kind of pull the chest up and then lift the shoulders over the hips. Let's release those hands, let them float out to the side. Then bring those arms in front of us, left arm underneath the right elbow comes in that elbow crease. Let's find our eagle arms. Breathe in. And on our exhale, let's lower down onto that right knee. Maybe the top of the foot comes to the floor. Eagle arms in our Anjana Asana. And now let's exhale, slide that foot to the left foot forward. Bring the knee to the ground. Let's humbly bow over that extended leg with eagle arms. That serenity of an eagle and that devotion of Hanuman. Uniting that love and serenity, bringing that within us tonight. Breathe in. Now exhale, draw the shoulders up over the hips, press that heel down as you lift up. Now release those arms. And now exhale, bring that left foot to the ground, bring the hands in so they kind of frame, or they're kind of on either side of that leg. And then bring the hands to the ground, curl the left, the right toes under, set the left foot back, it's fine plank. Maybe you lower down the knees. And then we'll come down to the knees, tops of the feet, the knees, the chest, and the chin, come to the earth. And then inhale, finding baby cobra, tops of the thighs. Maybe you hover the hands. Breathe in. Exhale, press the hands into the earth and come back into child's pose. And then humbly surrender in child's pose. Finding that gratitude that we can move on our own. And breathe on our own. We can make a conscious choice to be here. We can just sink into this practice, allowing it to nourish our entire being and all of our parts. Breathe in. Exhale, rock up onto the hands, curl the toes under, let's find downward facing dog. If that's a little too active tonight, find puppy pose and let that back really lengthen in either puppy pose or downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Now let's inhale, step that right foot forward. The left heel can come down or you can 
Keep the ball, the, the heel of the foot lifted, the ball of the foot ground, so rise up. Finding that crescent lunge, arms up above the head, bending that front knee. And find this Ashta Chandrasana. Breathe in. Exhale, let's bring the hands behind that back, pulling those hands towards the heel, lifting the heart and the chest. We have a little back bend as we bring the head back. And now we'll exhale to find our humble warrior. Maybe those hands pulling towards the sky. If that's too much, maybe the hands find the sacrum or the hips. Finding our self fully present here by noticing the physical body and where we are in space. Exhale, pull those hands up to sky, lifting the heart and the chest, and those shoulders over the hips. Gently release the hands, feel them slide up. And then we'll exhale, bring those hands in front, the right arm under, left arm on top, find those evil arms. Breathe in. And now with control, let's lower down into our Anjaneyasana. Top of the foot to the earth, breathe in, rise up, kind of tall, long in the spine. And then when you're ready, slide that heel forward, straightening the front leg, and then bow over that leg. Maybe you keep lifted. If it feels better for your energy and right for your space tonight, maybe you keep those arms up and the spine straight. Otherwise, we'll bow again. Creating space in the back of the body by pressing the hands into each other, the arms press into each other, and notice how that mid back, upper back respond. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's inhale, lift up those arms, lift, shoulders lift. And now bring that right sole of the foot back down, bend into that lunge. Let's curl the toes under, then lift up into a crescent lunge, and then hinging forward, ground into that right foot, lift the left knee up. Maybe you find chair pose with eagle arms, or maybe that left leg crosses over the right. Maybe you come into full gaudas. Honoring yourself or being exactly where you are. Letting that self observation without judgment, that highest form of spiritual practice, fill this shape. One more breath. Now let's unwrap the arms first. Let those arms and wings open. And then unwrap those legs, stand on both feet. And then exhale, bring the hands to the side. Maybe step the feet just a little bit apart. Yes, and then send that right hand down the side of that right leg. And when you can't bring that right hand down anymore, lift the left arm up and over that left ear, opening the left side body. And exhale, bring that left arm up, lifting the shoulders over the hips, bring the left arm down the side body. And then slide that left hand down the side of that left leg. The right arm is floating up that palm, right palm is lifting. And now when you can't go any further with that left hand, bring the right arm up and over head. And exhale, bring everything back to center. Heart shines forward, shoulders shine forward, palms maybe shine towards the thighs or towards the front of the mat. Let's bring the left arm out in front and that right elbow coming into that left elbow crease, bringing our arms into eagle, integrating all of our parts to work in harmony together. 
So maybe before we come into our ego legs, feeling a balance of listening and speaking, of planning, and of flying by the seat of your pants, a balance of sleep and awake. Balancing those polarities within us. And we'll ground into that left foot. Lift the right knee up and come into eagle legs or just drop down into chair. So whichever feels right to balance those energies. Maybe you don't need to come into eagle legs tonight. Maybe you never need to come into eagle legs. Maybe you press the arms together. Maybe you don't. And one more breath. And exhale to either unwrap the legs and then stand or to just rise. Release those arms lost. Let the arms go wherever your energy is going to guide them wherever that prana takes them, maybe to the side, maybe to the heart, maybe up to the sky. Round through the feet, feel the breath, feel the soles of the feet flow through the entire body out their fingertips. Exhale. And now let's roll down into a little ball, kind of crouching down. Coming out of the soles of the feet if you need to. And kind of wrap up the small, the little you as you can. And then bring those hands to the side, come out of the heels. Let's walk the hands back, coming to bring our legs out in front, nice and long. And then once you get with your legs in front, let's flex the feet. Roll the shoulders back, stack them over the hips. We'll bring our arms up to sky. And then exhale, bring the arms out like a T. Twist over to the right. And then just bring that left hand towards that left foot or maybe towards the right pinky toe, whatever feels right. But maybe don't lean towards the foot, but just kind of twist. And then lean towards that foot and see if you feel some expanse in the back or maybe the back, backs of the legs. And then bring everything over, kind of shoulders over that sacrum and then bring the heart back to shine forward. Give yourself a hug, that right arm underneath, the right arm coming to the left shoulder, the left arm across the body. So kind of cross those arms, yeah. And then maybe just kind of moving side to side, Jim. Then bring the arms up. And out. And then we'll exhale, twist towards the left. When you can't twist anymore, maybe you're gonna saw one of those toes off, kind of reaching to the right side of the third of the right foot or middle of the left foot. Just that lower back side body kind of responding, maybe the backs of the legs. And then bring the heart back over the sacrum. Shine the palms forward, heart shines forward, the left arm underneath this time, and then the right arm on top. Give yourself a hug and move side to side. Maybe you tilt the chin down. And whenever you're ready, release those arms. Bring yourself back into a seated position. Kind of right as we were before we started our movement. Coming into a comfortable seated position and pausing. Let your energy land. Let's give ourselves six rounds of our Nadi Shodhana, our alternate nostril breathing. 
So maybe our left hand is in our Vishnu or in our Yana Mudra. Thumb and index together, fingers out. And our right hand, either in Vishnu Mudra or that index in middle on that third eye. Inhale the left, the one, two, three. Whatever your practice is at, just give yourself six rounds. if they're closed. And then turn towards your props gathering, your blocks, your cushions, anything that you're going to bring tonight. And our first thing that we're going to do is to twist just a little. So bring the bolster or pillows off to the side. Let's have a pillow or a block for that left shoulder to maybe put underneath. We're going to bring the right leg long. The bolster is going to come to the side. And bring your shoulder blades to the ground. And then kind of roll over and let that left knee come to the bolster. And wherever that left shoulder is, just as you naturally roll from that leg being straight, that leg being on the bolster, wherever that shoulder is, maybe bring a blanket or a block or a pillow underneath the shoulder just to give it that little support, even if it doesn't need it. It's just that, hey, I'm here. It's like when you're sitting beside your best friend. You're not touching, you're not talking, but you know they're there. Just let that block, that pillow, whatever's behind that left shoulder, it's like knowing that something's there and you're not alone. Calming that nervous system. We'll rest here, a little bit of our twist. That left leg crossing over the right side of the body as we integrate and balance our being. Remind yourself that you're in your sacred space. There's nowhere you need to go. That this is 
your nourishment. This is your, your time for you. Perhaps bringing your inhale on this step to right point. Next one. Inhale. Imagine that breath massaging these glands, these pineal and pituitary glands, to support them to function optimally. Relax the space between your toes. Feel the muscles between every bone in your foot relax. your ankles and the space around your ankles for you. Let's gently kind of slide that left knee off the bolster. Roll to your right side if you're not there already. And let's press up. There's no rush. You don't even have to move if you don't want to. Coming off the floor, bring the legs in front. The feet can be together. The feet can be apart. I'm coming into a forward fold. But Let's place the cushion or the bolster so we rest our third eye on the cushion. Kind of signaling to that third eye, those pineal and pituitary glands. Just giving them awareness, giving them attention. 
and then sinking into this fold. Our forward folds regulate our nervous system. So we're not too far functioning in parasympathetic or too far in our sympathetic, but rather we're right at that sweet spot. Try to relax the arms and the hands. The weight of the head on the bolster holds that bolster still. Close the eyes and bring your energy to your third eye. Soften the face, maybe the jaw relaxes and the lips part. It's as if that low jaw is just suspended in space. Stay here a little while longer if you'd like. If you'd like, you can bring your head off the bolster and then bring it over to the left side and find that little twist on the other side of your body. Drop again.
Now on your own time. And stay on the side. Stay on the side. You can make your way to Shavasana. Whenever you find. Maybe when you get to Shalasana, you fold your hands and place your thumbs on your third eye for just a couple of breaths. Drawing awareness and breath to that energy center. Ultimately, relax in the body in complete surrender into your sickest group. Visualize the inhale, falling up the sole of the right foot, up the right side of the body to the third eye, and over, falling down the left side of the body, out the sole of the left foot. Trying to inhale in the sole of the right foot. Third eye. And exhale down the left side of the body out the left sole. And the sole of the right foot up the right side of the body. To the third eye. And down the left side of the body. Now inhaling both soles of the feet up the body to the third eye. Down the back of the body, out to the soles of the feet. And now for the soles of the feet up the front of the body to the third eye. And exhale, let it wash over the back of the body, out the soles of the feet. And then drop in.
Out back, perhaps like that with the side. Let's press the tip of the thumb to the tip of the index finger, press those together. Press the thumb and middle finger together. Thumb and the ring fingers. Press the tips of those fingers together. The thumb and the tip of the pinky, press them together. And do that again. Thumb and index, press together. Thumb and middle finger, press together. Thumb and ring finger, press together. Um, okay, keep press together. Open the hands, palms to the sky. Let out an exhale. And on your own time. Under the guidance of your own prana, your own energy, just begin to roll over onto one side. And when you're ready, press up to the seat. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Om Shanti 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 Om Oh.
Namaste. Yeah. <sighs>